Meanwhile, we've got some breaking inputs which have just come in from Dubai. We're after three days after the sudden demise of the Indian superstar Sri Devi. Her family has finally got the go-ahead from the Dubai authorities to bring her mortal remains back to India. The next step will be getting her body embalmed. So this is the breaking story that we are tracking at this hour, where finally after three days, remember it was roughly at about 11 p.m. local time on Saturday night, that Sri Devi was declared to be dead. And now it's, it's been learned that the family has been given ahead the clearance for the body to be brought back to India. And for more on this, we're joined in by my colleague Pragya Jha, who's been tracking all the details from the time the story broke. Pragya, this is finally the moment that a lot of people had been waiting for. It was not clear as to why the delays were taking place, but finally it appears that Sri Devi's mortal remains will be brought back. Absolutely. We must inform our viewers now that the Dubai police has handed over the Indian consulate and the family members of Boni Kapoor uh, the letters for the release of the mortal remains of the Indian cinema icon Sri Devi. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, the body can now proceed for embalming is what we've learned. Now, this is the latest uh, that we've got so far. And also, we must remember that it was just yesterday uh, that officials said that a detailed forensic report from the Dubai uh, police was going to be handed over to the public prosecutor there. And uh, it, we were waiting for the nod from the public prosecutor. However, we still need to get some updates on the permissions further required for repatriation of Sri Devi's uh, body. Mm -hmm. And uh, then that's when we get a complete confirmation on when exactly the body uh, will be airlifted. Accompanying her mortal remains will also be immediate family members. And uh, we've also learned that uh, right. that elder son of Boni Kapoor, Arjun Kapoor, has also flown to Dubai uh, to be by the side of his father and assist him in, in the legalities and the formalities that are uh, involved in getting back uh, mortal remains of the legendary actor to Mumbai. Right. Absolutely indeed, Pragya. And also there was a bit of a speculation that the public prosecutor was not very happy with the first autopsy report. So there was also talk that there could be another autopsy that could have been called in to be carried out on Sri Devi's body. So are we now looking at a case where the body will be brought back without another autopsy needing to be done? Absolutely. Now uh, that a go-ahead has been formally given to the process of embalming, it uh, signals that the public prosecutor has also given up, given his word then, uh, because the process of embalming happens only once the authorities are convinced. Mm -hmm. And it is then uh, that after 90 minutes of embalming, the process entirely takes close to 90 minutes. It's then that some more paperwork needs to be done, that is immigration and certain other formalities from the Indian consulate as well. And then... Uh, and then the mortal remains can be uh, loaded on the on the private jet and the family members can accompany the mortal remains to Mumbai. So now I think uh, around 50% of the work seems done because uh, we were waiting uh, for a nod from the public prosecutor in terms of uh, allowing uh, the, the mortal remains the body to be embalmed. And now we hear uh, formally that the body, uh, the family members have been handed over the mortal remains and the process of embalming will right. start shortly. Absolutely indeed. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Pragya Jha, for having joined us. We'll of course keep coming back to you through the day as the story unfolds.